I've had some shit that I like giving to me that I wish you wouldn't have gave it to me. You, I wish you would have <laughs> let me get that shit on my own, if that makes sense to you. Well, then that's see oh, now you no, sound I, complicated. Yeah, yeah explain, I am. It I, might, I, I, it I, might I, be, it might be some shit I don't have said. Like, I, explain it. I though. like that, such, 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 but it might be something that I don't really want it as a gift. Let me handle that. Yeah, explain that though. Hold, what you what you mean by that? It just it's, it just might be something. I don't know this certain pair of shoes that I seen or some. Uh, I don't know, outfit, something. It just might be something that I seen and I feel like I I let you, I let her in on the fact that I like it, but because I like it don't mean I want you to buy it for me. What the fuck? But if she taking into consideration that she done overheard you say that shit, and then she go out her way to try to find it for you, like why is that a uh um like why is that not a good thing? Okay, my point is. Don't you like a whole lot of shit, but it's some shit that you like that you possibly might not get for yourself? I I, I think yeah. I kind of understand what you're saying because I know some shit. Like, yeah, I like this shit, but I really ain't want nobody to go out there and yeah. get it for Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. And you end up with that. Yeah. And you I, I kinda, like, well, I damn, you, I though. did like it, but shit, I ain't really have to have it. I, I get shit. you. I get you. It's a big shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it yeah. is like, uh-huh. but you can't put it on her, though. Nah, it's it's I'm I'm half responsible for it. Yeah, I'm with that. Mm-hmm. She's just trying to be, you know, spontaneous for you, show you her love, and you just spit on it. <laughs> 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 Another episode yeah. of the Legend Has It podcast. What's happening? I go by the name of Artwork. Bo in the building. It's your boy RH, aka Raul. See Bo there over here. Yes, sir. And we are the legendary visionaries, legendary visionaries. man. Get money, never scary, motherfuckers. Let's get it. How y'all doing, man? What's popping? Man, I'm doing what good. Up, man? Doing good. Yeah, I'm popping. feeling lovely as fuck right now. Why are you feeling lovely, my I mean, guy? I mean, you know what I'm saying? COVID out here killing niggas. Mm, yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here living life. You need even more detailed description of what's going on in your <laughs> you life said right COVID now. COVID is killing niggas. Yeah, Cops I mean, are killing you, niggas. You, you need, I mean, we yeah. need a more detailed description of what's going on in your life right now. Nah, I mean- Can, like, can you pronounce what that bottle is we had? No, <laughs> no, I can't. But let's just, not talk about it. Uh, it's a, a cook a cup of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you pronounce it? I can't. And no, I don't know the name of this shit. It, be quiet. Yeah, we 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 own some new shit for the new cash. Yeah, you might put that. We might put that ball up right now. I don't know what it's called, Mike. What is she called? Man, Sincora. Oh, Sin oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, Michael Jordan. Say it again. Tequila. No, don't say it again. They didn't pay us. What the nah, fuck is y'all what? doing we right did, now? We didn't get paid for that. Nah, we, we didn't we get, not get, get paid shit for that. But we advertise like a motherfucker. That shit was exactly. different. That shit is all right. It's different. That shit was nasty. That all you nasty ass tequila <laughs> drinkers out there, it's different. That shit is disgusting. Yeah, you. Go ahead and spend that money and experience something different. So what are we getting into today, man? No, before we um, cause I'm not even a tequila drinker, man. Y'all, I don't like I prefer, man. I'm not either. I'm a cognac drinker. Yeah, I'm definitely like a cognac tequila. drinker. Y'all yeah, like cognac better than like any other drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. I concur. This was all tied into Michael Jordan, to be honest with you. Yo, you think if Mike Jordan went on that, we would we wouldn't have drunk that shit? No, right? and the no, funny thing about not. it, it's only one pair of Jordans mm-hmm. on the set right now. Hmm. Well, it could possibly be four, <laughs> maybe six, but today it just happened to be one. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm off, I'm off joy for real. <clears throat> Man, I'm off everything because I can't get shit when I want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off joy for a bit, man. Oh, because I, Mike, I don't you, know. get a, you got a lot of heat, fam. So he do got some heat, but I'm saying like he be having shoes come out, you can't even get them. I so can't get shit fuck? when I want to get, get nothing no more. Hmm. You either have to start buying designer or just wait for that lucky day. Yeah, which I ain't even trying to talk about my lucky. I got lucky, 
Lucky mm-hmm. business partner. Let's go ahead and go designer, man. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. designer seems to be looking goofy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they do. They do. They do. They do. Go ahead and goofy it up. Mom, but you got Jordan you that keeps selling you the same shit every other year. The same shit. I see yeah. nostalgia shit, though, I think. A lot of people like But they look good, shit, though, compared to But them. you know how they ripping us off? They put them out for 10 years with a jump man on the back. Now they're going, taking the jump man off. And oh, they're trying the to put back. the air on the shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 fell, I, fell, I fell right for now. it. I fell <laughs> for it. I had a pretty Sneakerhead. decent looking yeah, pair of... Sneakerhead shit right now. I had a pre, uh, pretty decent looking pair of fives mm-hmm. when them damn five red fives dropped again. This is for all the sneakerheads. You know, I got the, the sneakerhead segment. Five red fives that say <laughs> Nike Air on the back and ended up giving away the ones with the jump man on the back. Just gave them away. Or but they, they look just as good. It's the same sneaker. Nah, it don't. It, it do. It do to me. I had the ones with the jump man on the back from pre from years ago. Yeah, I no, can't think that's like, like a like a little little marketing little sham they getting <laughs> on. Absolutely, it's a, it's a setup. So I'm saying, like, why you keep why everybody keep falling for this shit? Because stupid. Because it's the brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, if we know what they doing, and like, why we keep falling for it? Because we stupid. That's the. We like the way they look. Man. I don't have no, like, man, everybody want to be your, like, oh, I got these. Can't nobody else get these. If, oh, it, say Nike on the, these. if it say Nike on the back, it, it touched me better than it do with the jump man. I don't mm-hmm. know why. But it's the same shoe, though. Yeah. yeah. But I they just changed the shit on the back. On the back. I don't yeah. You know how quick it was for them to switch that shit on the back? I do. But you they going to see They put charge an extra $50 for putting that exactly. Nike on the back. That's you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's um well, we can't fall for that bullshit, man. man we been falling, we ain't gonna stop. We're not gonna stop. Man, fuck that. Yes, we are. No, we can't only, stop. The only thing they they gonna stop us cause they don't make enough for everybody again. They, they do, do it on purpose. They that's make another enough. thing. That's part of the marketing also. Like, yeah, like oh like well, it's, we it's get, only a certain there, amount of people can get it. And it's a so that means you can charge more money for it. One of us don't gonna get it out of the four of us. Like I Somebody got them right now. Some shit on their feet. That, uh. I guess the bottom line is, yo, if you out there, if you a sneakerhead out there, I suggest you buy some stock in the sneakers you like. That's a move. Yeah, it, I don't know if it's buying a stock though gonna make you as much money as getting the sneakers. Nah, I mean, but this you how you got invested in the shit. Now, if you can get lucky and you be the one to get the pair of sneakers, shit, you gonna come up. Man, fuck them sneakers. You gonna come up. You <laughs> get some, tell, go, all right, you get, get a pair get some and you ownership go back and in the company. Nigga. Yeah, but you talking about a resale for one time, but you you just gotta be patient and wait yeah, on but this everybody's damn doing comeback that. on this damn stock you bought. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the stock game. It's like I sold term, them, right? like I got them Travis X and sold them bitches and made five hundred. Yeah, profit. but how many? I don't have that money no more. But how how often are you doing that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I haven't done it since. But exactly. did you reinvest the money that you made? No, I didn't. Exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. I reinvested some in stock. some of my bills. <laughs> if, if if you want to consider that reinvesting, I, I like paid some of my bills. That's why the stock is important. You just gotta be able to wait on it. Patient game. That stock shit ain't gonna flip. No, I, get them all I think that's why. That's why no, niggas that's don't saying. be on stock though. It's, it's a it long take, term it game. A little, yeah, it's like a long term. Like put your money in, let it grow, and then you get your return back late at a later date. Yeah, but sometimes niggas yeah, don't be trying to wait for that. They want that instant nice. shit. Instant so you can resell a pair of shoes that quick, then you are gonna get your money back quick yeah, as hell. Yeah, but. I blew that money, man. Bro, I, <laughs> telling you, I blew that. What money. I'm saying, like, that's just because, okay, so you got a little come up, you came up, and you spent the money. Bro. Yeah, I was excited. So you really when was I had like to come up trying too. to get on, like you would have and reinvested that money. Maybe you would have took that money and reinvested in some stock, then took the rest with it left over, and then bought you another pair of shoes. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But everybody ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna start wearing flip flops. No, you're not. Them dollar Man, old navy joint. We don't have to go. give up on our drip just because we want to try to be financially uh, responsible. But <laughs> you can't think a little different. We that's we got to. That's the only way we're gonna make it. We got to think different. Don't anyway. spend your last amount <laughs> trying to come up. Yeah, off of no damn 
Jordans and no no clothes. Cause look, man. they gonna get in your eyes. You gonna want to put them on. You gonna go outside with them on. Yeah, man. You want somebody you to see you. Oh, getting these athletes. And then it's all over. They, they lost value. They lost value that fast. As soon as you walked out the door, they lost value. Ooh, right. look at me. I got these. Y'all ain't got them. And that's you it. Stepped out with them. It might lose value faster than the car. They say it lose the car lose value when you drive off the lot. You put them shoes on and went outside on the porch. <laughs> done deal. Would y'all stand in line for sneakers? On, no. No. I never have. have and I never will. You ain't, you ain't. Nigga, you lying. I, I never You ain't never stood in line for no shoes. I, I stood did. in line for some shoes that I knew I was guaranteed to get when I got to the front of the line. But you did it though, didn't you? Standing in line for some shoes I'm that talking I about don't this day know and age. that I'm going to get. No, I'm talking about this day and age, I period. No, you know what I'm saying? I got a plug. I done talked to my plug. No. I got to go through the, the <laughs> normal route that everybody else is going through. So I'm... Chilling on Saturday morning. No, I'm talking about this day and age where you ain't got no plug, none of that. You no, just I don't know about now. no, I'm not standing in line. Yeah, me too. No, I don't think it's worth it. I'm not now, standing in line. I, I can be mad, disappointed when it's over, but I'm not getting in line. I've I'm done it before, but I don't even I know do they, it no more. It's not. It's rare that you're gonna be able to get in a line anyway. Right, I mean, you can get in so line, then stay in line, don't get shit. You're talking about then, in your I life, done right? It before. Yeah, I'm talking about just that. if COVID, just imagine COVID didn't exist. I'm yeah, talking about like getting in a fucking line for some sneakers. That shit sounds crazy to me nowadays. Yeah, I, I'm not, no, I'm not doing that line thing. I'm not doing that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just asking. Like, you don't know how many stood in line. I stood in line for the. Uh, I, I still in line. I've never Black stood Friday in line for the Jordan Three. Nigga, you done stood in line for some shoes. Everybody stood in line for some shoes. I stood in line for some shoes that I knew I was gonna get when I got to the front of the line. I didn't get in the line with no information going forward. So if you already knew you were gonna get them, what was the point of you staying in line? Then? Cause, all right, one, we work at this place. That we get off at seven thirty in the morning. Before COVID, you could go get the shoes at eight. So I'm going to get my shoes before I go home and go to bed. Oh, that so was you my already yeah, yeah, I just yeah. go by there when I get off, yeah. go pick the shoes up, go yeah. home. What yeah. he's saying is, you already knew that. I enough. know, I know, I'm getting a pair regardless of what's going on with what they did or how they releasing them. I know so you, for you a fact. Knew. I know for a fact. You knew. Even if you was the 100 nigga in line, you I still got a pair. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this nigga got a pair set aside for you when you got yeah, to I, I'm oh, going to get it. I'm going to get a pair. I'm yeah. talking yeah. about standing in line. No. I'm surprised he even made you stay in line for that. No, yeah. I'm not standing in line for something I don't know. No. Now, I ain't never had I ain't no. never had that luxury. But yeah, I just stood in line. I just stood, I stood online to get some mm-hmm. shit and then got up to the front of the line with my turn and didn't know if they had my size or not. Now I thought it was going to be old for me. I stood in line for them damn um, 12 taxi cabs. What year was this? Man, so, I don't remember. So you was out there in the dark. And didn't even get them. You was out there in the dark. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yo, see, that's the thing, though. When you stand in line for these shit, you don't get them? That's the That's, that's, the that's, that's different. That's heartbreak. Nah, that's something else right there. The one time I tried to get in line, the motherfucking security guard made me leave the parking lot. What? Because I, already, I was there too early. Because he knew oh. who you was and he, and was, was like, you already, he already know you were not having bullshit. this lineup <laughs> shit in the parking lot, blah, 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 blah. He knew who so you I was. So I leave and when I pull up again, I don't even park because the shit is ridiculous. It's like they lined up to get in the club. He said, Corey, Corey, why you are here? Go to the house. <laughs> Corey, why you are here? You shouldn't even be in line like that, man. Go on, get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah it, was, it wasn't like that no more. Like, man, God, you shouldn't be up here in line. When they started doing that, um, what would you, what were y'all stand in line for? That reservation shit online, when they started doing that, that's when my whole <laughs> actual connect shit kind of went out the door, basically. The last time I stood in line, I went and got those, those threes, the royal, the royal threes. Mm. Royal three. You talking about like the true blue joints? The tr- true blue threes. Yeah, this one got called. Jumpman on the back. Look at this nigga. <laughs> I think, <laughs> Don't no, I think they do. Yeah, I think they, they got a jump man with that. And then they, they came back two See, years I'm, later. No, I'm not doing all that. Yep, I'm not doing that. I'm not going back to get all the way out for the, know, what I'm saying, for the air shit. shit. I'm not doing that. What I'm saying, I remember seeing his. And I was like, <laughs> damn. No, I, I ain't with them, them shit that mad long either because the shoelaces got messed but up. But now I got I got the ones with the night hair on them. I remember seeing his and then they have a pair. And I was like, Mike got a pair too. Yeah. Mike got a pair. 
Yeah. What will you stand in line for, though? That's my question. Right now, I don't know. I might stand in line for a certain, for a couple of pairs of ones. Today? No, not even shoes, nigga. Anything. Oh, Oh, I'm not standing in line for shit. It's some shoes I stand in line for. You want to stand? Nope. Not shoes. I ain't talking about. I ain't standing in line for no sneakers. There are some shoes. No, it's a couple pairs of ones I might stand in line for. I would get in line for the Marax you got on right now. No. Fuck that. shit ain't like Real talk. Nah, they ain't like that. I ain't standing in line for these shits either. Ain't nobody going to drop them. That's why you ain't gonna. Yo, you, you need and to I put your foot up, though. We need to see a picture. No, of them. Put a picture of them animals over here and this shit, so they can know how <laughs> rare they are. Matter of fact, take them off and sit them in the damn tray. <laughs> Buy the bottles of liquor that we've been drinking. Who we y'all standing line for? So what if you get like uh, food get for, scarce out here for mm. a few pairs of them ones? I I probably stay on line for them. They I didn't even like know it. you like no, ones. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't have because I don't have. I have one pair. I thought you said ones was trash. I thought you said one, one pair of ones and them one them ones I got. Don't nobody even check for. Hmm. It's like the eighty five <laughs> breads. I think that I would I would he check for. Like, <laughs> no, I got <laughs> I got the hornet ones. And nobody wear them. Hornet ones. Hornet ones. See what I'm saying? Y'all don't know why yeah, I wear them. They ain't even ringing the bell. Y'all ain't never seen me. Y'all ain't never seen me wear them shit. I don't wear them. I feel like I'm walking on the ground when I wear ones. That's my only <laughs> knock on them. I love one. <laughs> I ain't never really like the saying, ones. Those 85 that came like out not mad. too long ago. I'm mad for the fact that I just missed out on some ones last week, to be honest with you. Yeah, I tried to get them biohacks. Yeah, yeah, I... I was hey, on fuck everybody you, Nike. shit. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck y'all. The one that came on, out not too long ago with all them fucking clothes on it, those shit was trash. Everybody I like Nike, you know. to the damn process that Union Los Angeles had for that last drop they had that was eliminating box. And it was, I don't know what else went into it, but the question that you had to answer was, what color is orange? What, what color is orange? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So um, so I'm pretty sure it was some motherfuckers that was fucked up when they got to that point of that checkout process and it was like what color is orange? Wait, time. What color is a orange? Yes. What was the answer? Orange, nigga. What color is orange? I don't know what it, I mean, that sounds crazy. Yeah, it, 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 thank you. They got and niggas They asking. was eliminating box this is by what doing this, that. This is what this is coming to. They like was they, they eliminated they eliminated a whole lot of bots by doing well, that right on, there. Man. That was one of the that was the Oh, they question. did the shit for the bot type yeah, shit. Yeah. You had to answer that question correctly oh, to, to proceed with your checkout process. Hey man, if anybody listens to this podcast and they got a good bot they can um lend us. Y'all let us know, man. Oh, oh, crap. Think oh that's how that works. Refer a bot. Yeah, man. Refer us to a little bot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got that going ahead and let us know. Bot or thought. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Just, <laughs> just playing. Whoa. We ain't looking for no thought. Yeah, Whoa. I don't know. I'm ready for no uh, thoughts. Just joking. Uh, thought? Uh, thought right now? We ain't looking for no thought. Yeah. Anyway. Like I said, uh, Oh, you like them crazy L- bitches? Legend has it that um, I need a little bit of crazy, a little bit of ratchet, a little bit of classic, a whole lot of beauty, and you dump all that in the pot and mix it, <laughs> and I'm going to have a camper. See, I don't think. That's just me. I don't think you can pick your crazy man. I think it's you should. Is she crazy? She crazy. Yeah, uh, you can't pick it, but hopefully it ain't more than you can handle once you find out that it's there. I don't think it's going in between. You're not gonna find crazy. it. <laughs> you gonna find out. out front. It ain't gonna be like, hey, I'm crazy, nigga. What's nah, up? Nah, you gonna find out on the way on the on the way there. You gonna find out. But you ain't gonna get all. The, it's gonna be different levels of crazy that you gonna yeah, get at different points of the relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can't. You ain't yeah. got no choice on that. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's no in between with the crazy. No, you always got a choice. But uh, you got a choice to deal with that shit or not. No, that's what I'm saying. But if you pick crazy, crazy is crazy. It ain't no motherfucking. You can't get no little bit of crazy. Is <laughs> you gonna get crazy, nigga? Nigga, it's, no, it's, 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 it's levels. levels of crazy it's levels. Though. It's I, levels. I, I agree with you, Corey. It's levels to it's crazy. It is levels of crazy. Like it's <laughs> it's the bushing one out level crazy, and then it's the I'm gonna call you six hundred times in a row crazy. That's that's two but that different call levels. Call you six hundred times crazy. You know that shit can teeter over. 
Yeah, but she should have bust your windows she out. Crazy. She should have <laughs> bust as a fine line, line in between. After, it, the line. after the call three hundred, she should have been got in the car and came busting windows out. But that's, you know what's coming if she call if she's capable of calling you three hundred <laughs> times, my G. You know she ain't far. <laughs> hey, look, she let's scale the shit back. For though, pulling up on you. Look, before before we even get into that, let's scale it back. Have y'all ever dealt with a crazy chick? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so you been dealt with a crazy chick? What what determines her as being crazy? The ride by. Crazy. Just showing up at your crib, <laughs> popping up, or just going off the hinges off some like some minor shit. No, oh, okay. Um, have you ever felt uneasy on the way to the house? And like, <laughs> I don't know which which one I'm gonna get today. Uh, which which? Yeah, girl you gonna get? That, that, I know, I know that, what you're saying. That type, I, I get of, it. That type. You yeah. know, I'm like, I don't, you don't know what you gonna get when yeah, you come over there. Yeah, am I gonna like, pull up and it's gonna be, hey, baby? Or I'm gonna pull up and be like, why the hell where you the here? fuck you been? <laughs> exactly. That I, type of shit. I know for sure I had a chick that was crazy because she was pulling up at my. My current chick job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walking by her shit, making sure she knew her presence was felt. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? That she was just walking by, letting her know that she was there. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even with her. <laughs> That's how crazy she was. Yeah. Let me ask y'all this, though. Have you ever had the pop up? Oh, yeah, you ever had the pop up? up? Hold on, now no, when you say the pop up, that make you crazy. Pop, pop up on you? Oh, yeah, that ain't what? Yeah. That's that's right. that come with it. All right, but let me ask you this, because I'm the type of person you can pop up all you want to, and you can see the lights in here. We got these ring lights on. You can see all this shit. But if I didn't know you was coming, I'm not coming to the door. Yeah, I'm the same way. So yeah, but then you know you're asking for a whole nother situation when but, you do that. No, nah, I'm not because you I, are. I don't avoid it. it. You I don't avoid it. You everything. You gonna get it? You can't tell me I was in the house, but you didn't tell me you was coming to the house. Oh hell no! Nah. You asked. So they it. heard the TV. <laughs> I, nah. I left the TV on when Bro. I left the bitch. What the fuck? You asked, she she. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I know you hear me out here knocking on this door. Boo, 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 boo. Nope. You should have called me ten minutes before you nah, got it to the door. Like that. Hey, see that if I was at the house in high school. I did. I I'm, and I'm and I ain't just saying that for the female. I I would do y'all like that. Y'all pull up in my house. Oh no! Nah, yeah. You, you said you was coming to my. Shit. You was where? <laughs> I ain't even know you was out. <laughs> what bro. time? <laughs> shit, man, I was in the house. I ain't even know you was out there. But <laughs> you know what? After all this crazy shit that we say these women be doing, I really. Truly, honestly, feel like us men appreciate that. I think we like that. <clears throat> That's a slippery to slope. To a certain extent. Oh my God. I'm, talk- I'm going to speak for myself. Yeah, please. To I a, like that. To a certain extent. You like crazy. A little, not, not like to the point where she want to like kill me crazy, but like <laughs> to a, a little bit of crazy extent. because you like, you can tell crazy chick emotions like she really fuck with you like that. <laughs> Like she really fuck with you. Nah, or she could just be thrown the fuck off, man. You, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could just be thrown off. You know? No, but I feel like she really fuck with me though, because like she giving like the emotion, like she really going with you like to the end. Like she she uh she, she really into it right now. Yeah, I, I mean I understand what you're saying. That makes you. I guess that boosts your ego a little bit. Like, yo, this bitch kill for me and she'll kill me. <laughs> but I mean, if you got a chick on the other hand, like, <laughs> but if you got a chick on the other hand that don't like get that's show you none of that emotion, fam. she don't show you none of that emotion and you feel like yeah, you don't the know emotion, where she at. That, do, that emotion do mean something, I think. A little bit of emotion means something. We but to the point where it's like, time, huh? she'll kill everybody in this motherfucker. <laughs> no, we don't, you don't want that. Nah, that's but toxic. You got a lot of chicks that are like that, though. They they say they like they that. They emotional as fuck. They are. You don't want all emotion and no. But uh, hey, it's a no, certain uh, extent or limit that that emotion is gonna. Come yeah, out. you don't want all emotion and no fucking. Um, what's the shit? That common means? sense, not <laughs> common sense. I mean, but, well, there's uh, a lot of common <laughs> sense with that though. Like they really be on it. Like they really be on some shit. Like if. I'm not with you, then nobody else gonna be with you type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want that. that, no, that yeah, Cause if you move off emotion, you can like really fuck some shit up. And then <laughs> in 2020 hindsight, you think about it and it's like, oh my God, like what the fuck was I thinking about when I did that? Mike, what you think? 
That's very true. And what you, you ever you ever did with a, a crazy chick? Oh yeah, like I said, I did with a crazy chick, but it was it was just on the when it was over, just uh, I'm gonna ride by your crib. <laughs> I'm I'm rolling by. You know I'm out here. <laughs> But then it was never like, no, I'm going to come knock on the door, beat the door down. But it was Shorty just told me she rolled by my crib. So you, 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 you didn't have, see. No. That wasn't full blown crazy then. That was just, nah, she that's was a little, little bit crazy. touched. That's a little crazy, man. She was no, a little touched. Close no, that's crazy, though. No, no that's that close enough. That's touched. It's touched versus crazy. Bro, that nah, but when you're riding by, you. but I'm riding by and I'm not, that's all I'm doing is riding by. Let me, but tell, I wait, let me tell y'all. Wait, what if I'm outside and you riding by? You bitch, I wave at you. You <laughs> no, like, what if you know, she riding? You got that. <laughs> what if she riding by and you in the house? And but she don't know that. She that's just riding by. Come, she coming out the blue. Your door, bro, that's crazy as hell. Yeah, let me see if this nigga car out here. You don't know what this nigga doing. He's just, just pulling up. You just ride by the house. Now she see me. I'm with somebody else. It could be my my sister. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> riding by. She gonna flip out. Real talk. She gonna run up on I you and your sister. sister. Not. When I was a whole lot younger, I had two of my family members that was from out of state. That was from Texas. We out chilling on a Friday night. Doing whatever, whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna say this is crazy now. Shit, fuck, it I, was thought crazy it was, I thought it was crazy then. The chick seen us, and this, I'm a hundred percent responsible for the, her reaction for when she seen us. But she pulled up on us. I'm running in the store to get whatever, whatever. She's outside. She see them. I'm hey, whatever. I right, keep keep pushing. <laughs> she had a ring that belonged to me, had my initials on it. One of my homeboys was out there. He was like, man, your ring look like a wrestling belt right now. So it ain't got no roundness to it no more. It's straight ran over. <laughs> 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 so like I said, I take my part of the responsibility of her actions because I didn't, I wasn't like, yo, this these my Family members, hey, come meet them. It was just, what's up? And I kept it pushing, but I, it, yeah. So it's different levels of crazy. Cause that was crazy at the end of the day <laughs> with no explanation behind it. It depend on how you was like mm, fucking with her. Nah, that sound like, I, that I sound just, like that's your fault though. I didn't yeah. really, it, it kind of was, <laughs> but I was saying it depend on how you was fucking with her. You should explain your situation before you start you gotta, doing all this. You gotta think, I'm, I'm the average nigga at that point. I'm very average. And I got two chicks in the car, you gonna be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? First thing that came in your mind, should have been like, let me see who this is. Yeah. Well, I done had, had that same shit happen. He ain't that cool. Or he ain't doing that well. Look, I had my aunt call me and I ain't explain like all the girl, the chick that I was with, all she heard was a chick on the phone. <laughs> and I'm sitting there talking to her. And she and she got up and left and like walked out the room. <laughs> and then I was talking to my I was talking to my aunt. And I'm like, yeah, hold a on thing. a second. I'm like, yo, hold on. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Let me call you back for it right quick. I go upstairs and she's talking to me like, yo, the fuck you had on the phone? Like, yo, that was my aunt talking to me. And she and she had to pull back that crazy. Oh, let me calm down now. Oh, you was talking <laughs> to your aunt. But like, that's no, what I was I'm saying. Bitch, I was talking to my aunt. You just all Ain't of a sudden no went between, off the deep huh? end you know, because I was talking to my man. aunt. And what we, what I, the word I was looking for was logic. We move off of logic. When you move off emotion, that type of shit can just go super sideways real we quick. Don't always move off a lot. <laughs> we should. I'm not. I ain't gonna, Ooh, yeah. More I ain't than more than not, yeah. we move off a lot. Of, man, you think yeah. about some shit before you really I get mean, crazy. Yeah, Most of the time, we try and move off logic, but I'm not. It all ain't time. always going to happen. I move off a lot. Of. It's a whole lot of niggas. In my shit. younger days, I might have moved off emotion, but it's now, a whole lot of niggas. In my age right up. now, I move <clears throat> off of logic. It's a whole lot of niggas that locked up right now that didn't yeah, have no logic emotion, involved but, um, in their movement. Overall, I'm saying men typically move off of logic. Most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, of course, yeah. you're going to, like, sometimes you out of character, you're going to move off emotion. We can get, and there's women that can push your buttons and get can you I, into that emotional shit. Can yeah. I tell y'all a story? Please, please do. I had a cheat. I know she was crazy. <laughs> y'all remember when we? Uh, y'all remember Music City, the club? I do. Y'all remember that club, right? Yeah. I used to go to that. I've never been in there, but right? I remember. 
I had broke up with a chick that I ain't even talked to no more like that. Well, you know, we were still fly, but we won't talk like that. She ended up coming to the club while I was talking to a new chick. <laughs> and she saw us together at the club. <laughs> she saw us together in the club. She ran up on the chick in the club. Slapped the shit out of her in the club, right? First of all. So she gets slapped in the club. The bouncers come, kick both of them chicks out of the club. So I got to go outside the club. These two chicks about to fight, right? Ended up getting a chick in the car. The other chick ran up on the other chick car, basically drop kicked her in the fucking car. <laughs> and. and and basically, they was they was basically fighting because I was with one and won't with the other one. That shit sound crazy to me because I won't with the other one. So it's all your fault. Yeah, no, up. no, no. That's where the crazy come in. At. Yeah, that's exactly I won't that with you no more. The crazy part to me is I never been in that spot, but I've heard how big it was. So. She was looking for you the whole time she yeah, was right, there. Because you know how big that spot was. And that, that was, was the only hell. reason she was there. She was looking to find you and slap somebody. Bro, she slapped the <laughs> shit out of her. She came with intent to slap somebody before Yo, she left. Them chicks went. And she you got was in fighting. She drop kicked this chick. Car had a dent in it. Had a 50B out. Both of them put a 50B out on each other. Shit got crazy. And you ain't even want the chick. I ain't had nothing to do with it. I ain't had nothing to do with it. You had everything. You done made somebody crazy. No, you kind of had something to do with it. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You you knew (laughs) you knew you made somebody crazy. But that's the fact though. That won't make you crazy. We're not together no more. What the fuck is you fighting a new chick for? She don't even know you. You made her crazy before y'all went together no more. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Nah. See that's the thing. I, that's what I we, That's what crazy. we need to talk she was about. Already crazy. What she the was fuck? Crazy. How did I yeah. make you crazy? He, he and put you switch. in that situation. Nah, she was already. She already had that in it. it, it he he it, flipped it, the could, switch. You can take yeah, him out she, of the equation and put any nigga in that equation. Somebody got to flip the switch. And they was already. She was going to do that. That's because that sounds like your, your fucking ego was hurt at the moment, exactly. and then you had to go do something about it. Yeah. I agree. So you was just out there in the parking lot chilling. Bro, the only you ain't trying to maintain the peace. That's the only reason I was out the club because this bitch already slapped the other girl you, that I was with. You, you try to maintain the peace. I man, look, I, I was right, caught no. off guard. Serious question. I said, "Oh serious, shit!" Serious question. Why did you slap her? Here, 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 here. <laughs> nah, you serious didn't. question. <laughs> what? Which one you took on with you? I took on the one I was with. Oh, okay. I took on the one I was with because the other girl was wrong as fuck. I ain't had nothing to do with her at that moment. The only reason she did that because I won't with her. So you she took felt her like I was trying to she play her let face. Somebody slap her up in the club. You was like, oh, "Who? That's who she? That's who he was with from the job." I was with her when I, I, know, I, I came with her. her and I lived with her. Gotta look at her different now. Nah, she really? got nah. smacked up in the club. I didn't, nah, I didn't nah, have really. nothing to do with that. You yeah. let some chick come up, slap yeah, you. Exactly. I didn't have nothing to do yeah. with that. So you supposed to be looking at her funny like, mm. nah, nah, not really. How the fuck I'm supposed to see all these fucking people here? I'm like, I'm like, hey, bitch, hey, bitch, what? Hey, hey, dog, no. Nah, they don't want like that. Uh, nah. You, nah, you, I don't. you knew she wasn't on point no more after she done got smacked up. You nah, was like, man, I don't know if I can rock this. Crazy that night. Them chicks at when I like, I don't even like to get the cops involved with no shit like that. They ain't set um restraining orders on each other after that. Damn, man. She got kind of wild. So they was in the courthouse and everything. Yeah, man. They and you at the house chilling. I ain't no, I ain't have participation in none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, you was at the house yeah. chilling with yeah. another chick. They at court. You was the root cause. That's for sure. That's that crazy shit. That's though. not a root cause, though. That's why I think that shit crazy. That's what Because uh-huh. what the fuck did I have to do with y'all having to fight with each other? I won't with her, but, but she mad at you because I'm with you now and not with her. That's that's crazy on your on, on your behalf. I some can't women, do that. Some women thrive off of that. that you ignited that it, though. Crazy shit. I think. Because they feel something from it. But what, what is it though? Like, what are you getting out of that? And getting like it's a, a rush. thrill, it's a it's rush. A rush. It's like, yo. But what is that? That ain't gonna make me like you no better. That's the whole thing with the nice guy shit. It's like the nice guys don't provide none of that. So it's like, oh, now you tapping you know on something. That's what that is. I oh, think. Oh, you tapping into something. I like this transition. Yeah, I like that. You tapping into something right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what it is. And some when type you say, of when you say nice, it's it's kind of like recording. I carried some type of. 
stipulation with me, regardless of if I was nice or not. Hold on. It hold was some nice being like, yo, you just like you endeavored by her. Like you, yeah, like, yeah. You, like you look at her and you're like, yeah, damn, she bad. And yeah, you, but I still was, want to. Like, it was that thug part of me that the motherfucker yeah. was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm he different. But I'm saying that's what every 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 chick. I didn't have some that I thought that was just like super bad, and I was like, but like I didn't have chicks that I was nice to, and I was probably too nice to, because yeah, after saying. the fact that it passed from me being too nice, it came out that I should have been something else at a different time. If you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. So I was, you know what I'm saying. I kind of fumbled the bag, but. That's I was all I'm still saying. there for you to say, hey, I wish you would have such and such. And I'm like, motherfucker, I was trying to be respectful. And that's all I'm saying, bro. That's all been I'm saying. Like I a slut the whole damn time. Yeah, Boy, that's all I'm honest, saying. Like, give you the, that truth from the heart feeling. Yeah. But you was trying to, like, protect the feeling. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you, you betraying something that you really not, and I'm falling for it. I'm like, well, damn, I got to treat her like what she portraying. But... It came down to the point where that ain't really what it was. I should have been treating them like I was treating everybody. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I I I wasted a whole lot of time at that point. I made up for it, but I wasted some time doing some shit like that before. Like I was too nice. I think we all at a at a point to where we probably too nice. You know what I mean? Like. Cause you don't want to hurt, you know, it will for the person you with or the person you messing with at the time. You ain't trying to hurt them or that. So, of course, you feel like you. Sometimes you might have been overly nice. It ain't even not even hurting them. It's about you don't even missing, know them like that to hurt it's them. It's about missing out on what you're trying to get yeah, the, the yeah. ultimate goal. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna miss out on the ultimate goal from being too nice or not being nice enough in the beginning. That's what it is. Like, and I was. Being too nice, and it got to a point where I shouldn't have been as nice as I was being. Because at that point, I missed out on some shit. I I got paid later, but I should have not Very been true. as nice as I was Very when I was own. being nice. They don't respect that nice shit because, especially like a a baddie, because she getting a bunch of niggas every day that's telling her how bad she is. Yeah, so but you gotta They understand. think that's all game anyway, so they this don't respect that shit. This running game on me about how goody good she was. Yeah, but that's what, they, that's what they gonna do anyway. You know what I'm saying? But and you I still can't fall. Up. Yeah, you, yeah like, that's part of it, yeah. but you can't fall for that. But you only learn that at a certain point. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Some sooner than others, but and some never learn. I see still niggas yeah. still doing that dumb shit. Simp. <laughs> Suffering, they never learn, but they don't really respect that man because they like just think about it. Like, you chick walk out the house and she getting, you know what I'm saying? She get approached every fucking time she leave the crib. So it's like, what do you, what do you really do? Yeah, exactly. So she feel like you putting on when you being nice and all that dumb shit. Yeah, what to say you right? Ooh. See that that whole nice guy shit. I know for a fact that shit don't work. So just just your, just your approach to trying to bag a chick, you you taking the wrong approach because it ain't gonna work. Chicks do not appreciate and do not respect no nice nigga. So not that's overly your, nice. No, overly I mean nice. it don't even matter. You could be a, a little bit nice. They don't yeah, they don't fuck. really fuck with that shit. Either. They <laughs> want niggas that they really do want niggas that be like they say that bad boy shit. They really do. We want that. So they be like, they want you to be like, shut up, bitch. I mean, mm. I don't know if they're gonna let you get. No. That. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna let you <laughs> get off with I'm that. Just one. Playing. I'm I don't playing. know they're gonna let you get that shit off, but they ain't gonna let. They don't want no nigga that they know they can get over on. Like, yeah, exactly. They don't you can tell that. this nigga anything, he's just gonna go with it. Ain't gonna, he ain't gonna question you. You think he ain't gonna all challenge of them like you? you know? Most of them. I think most of them are. Okay. I ain't gonna say all most of them. them. I don't know. I but I'm saying all I agree the ones with the that most I most know is they not gonna. Because this is a lot that, of cornballs out here that's clapping cheeks every night. Right. You gotta because. Think about it like that. Because they done met up with a cornball chick. Yeah, <laughs> but say Vince is like, you one of these nice niggas, cover. right? Yeah. You one of these nice niggas and you getting that shit off. And it's your shit. That's what you go towards, right? The chick is going to be all right with that initially. 
And yeah. they gonna let you get that shit on. But then after a while, this shit Sooner gonna get. Later, they yeah. don't have. There, it's no challenge for them to get over on your ass. Don't so they gonna take advantage of taking it. Taking advantage of that shit. Exactly. So next day, you know, they playing your ass for because you out here being a simp ass nigga, right? True. Like, like, how you gonna get past that? Like, you didn't let them do it. There ain't no way you can go back on that. Like, how you gonna be like, oh, nah, 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 you can't do that. Nah, I already did it. Is that what you talking about? Yeah, you gotta take that L. Yeah, so you might as well go on to the next one. And change learn, your yeah, approach. Let's like, <laughs> learn. Yeah. Can't really keep going. That shit don't work, man. Yeah, it don't. I've seen it happen too many times. Yeah, me too. Lesson learned. Y'all oh, niggas awkward silent. It's still, <laughs> like I said, it's still a bunch of cornball couples out here. Yeah, and but they living their best life. Nuisance. Come on, how do you know they living their best life? Yeah. I just, that's just my. I think if that shit work for your relationship, though, <laughs> if it worked for your relationship, they, then cool. They happy. They is. Of you, course, it's going to work for some people. Park, yeah. Right. It's going to work for some people. That's what they want. Yeah, so we're talking it's about the you. overall joint. But that's overall, the thing. that shit not going to work because the people that you're dealing with, okay, it's cool. You're going to get in the door with that. But once you get in the door, that shit gonna get old as fuck, and then they gonna start playing the fuck out of you because they're not gonna be interested no more. You know, it's a challenge. You, just, yeah, you got me, you got me in here, and now I'm here, and then you. She I might can't, be but can you for keep me here? To run, they, they, some of them want to run you too. That's they, what I'm they, saying. They're they they gonna, gonna run, they're gonna run you to that. They're gonna run all their options out, and they done done everything they can to get everything out of you, and then it's on to the next one. They done played the fuck out of you, and now I'm on to the next. On to the next. Damn, it, that's it. it, it yeah, that's it. It happens. It's out there. You can let yourself be played like that if you yeah, want. You was a sucker. I will play the sucker from the start. It just depends on who you I, dealing I could with. Could elaborate, but I will not. <laughs> oh, it just depends on who you dealing with. You might find you one. It's ready to take advantage of you. So you might Suck find you one. Going on. You might find you one that thought they was gonna take advantage of you, and then you switch it up on. They don't know what the yeah, fuck to do with you. Then you could find one that's gonna take advantage of me. You'd be like, just keep taking advantage of me, and I'm a rock. Yeah, you but that's when you suck. You just definitely <laughs> fall into that simp ass shit. Yeah, suck ass sucker. And we're gonna run you all the way over. Mm-hmm. So the moral of the story is: treat them all the same. Don't be a simp. <laughs> but you know what? All the same, you might even treat all chicks the same. Like, oh yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> I want to take you on a picnic. No, I not like that. All this. Okay, you might, that right. might be your mindset yeah, you the right. whole you time. Right. Moral of the story is: don't be a sucker. don't be a sucker. Yeah, man, don't be a, a sucker. Stupid. Ass. Don't be a stupid ass nigga, man. Sucker, ass nigga. sucker. <laughs> Speaking of suckers, sucker. <laughs> Y'all what niggas be paying like all the bills in y'all crib when y'all with it. Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And I'm just playing with the sucker shit. Man. I ain't like, make all the, I didn't make all of them. If that's your that's MO, then yo, that's. Yeah, I ain't that's gonna say that's no sucker shit. It's, I mean, it's if, not. If that's in your household and that's how y'all yeah. operate shit, then cool. I mean, yeah, that's the agreement. If you got paper like that, I ain't mad at you. But I uh, only think it's some sucker shit when you doing that. And you don't have to do that. Hmm? Okay, so check this out. You make money, your girl make money. If you paying all the bills and your girl making money, mm, you kind of a sucker, nigga. Because what the fuck you paying all the bills for when she make her own money? She just stacking bread. She but, just she oh, she just stacking exactly like bread. you said, Bo. She's she just stacking, stacking bread. bread. She done <laughs> making her bank account fat, and you spend all your fucking money. You dumbass nigga. She is prepared. But what if y'all have an agreement where y'all okay? I'll pay the bills. Okay, but you just she... made a suck ass agreement. <laughs> <laughs> no, check it. Listen to me now, y'all. You pay the bills, and she is the one saving. So her money goes towards saving. Okay, right, okay. Different. All right, check this out. Are y'all, are y'all married? Or like, uh, y'all what, for what, us? What? Yeah, savings for both of y'all. So Boom. it's a savings account. Say y'all want to buy uh, y'all dream home one day, and you yeah, paying the bills it. in your current spot, and she's. Her money is going towards saving, but you paying all the bills. And your her money is going towards the savings fund. How does that? How do y'all rock with that? That's a I mean, I different. Think, I think they can work. You think that can work? Yeah, I think they can yeah. work. I mean, if y'all what got that, if like, agreement, what if y'all though? getting like an argument and then she's like, "I'm gonna spend all this," it's null and void. Like y'all split up and now all the shit that she was saving, <laughs> you yeah. got access to. At the end of the nah, day, it gotta be where you, you can. <laughs> Access you, you, you gotta be one where you can be like, I got this. 
and I can still live. It can't be I got the bills and that's all my money. You know what I mean? So if you paying all the bills, you got to be able to pay the bills and maintain the rest of your lifestyle at the same time. Yeah, but you still going to be why a little she's stacking bread. aggravated if y'all splitting the sheet. Yeah, because I wouldn't want... Look, me personally, I don't want to pay all the bills because I'm going to be looking at you funny. I got another child in the house. Yeah, I, I, I feel you on that too. I shouldn't be able to not be able to tell you nothing to do. I should be able to tell you everything. If I'm paying for every fucking thing, you got to come to me and be like, I want to go such and such such. And I'm like, here, take this. When you get back, whatever I say, you got to fall in line. I feel you. I agree. Because this is my shit. Everything mm. is my shit. Every goddamn thing. Yeah, you mm. just hear it. Yeah. Hold on to the wave. How do you think that'll work, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want it like that. Nah, because you know what she going to say? Oh, but I give you pussy, though. <laughs> man, God, fuck out of here with that shit. That's hey, what look, I've been saying out. forever, <laughs> man. Fuck that. Check man, this that out. pussy only go so far. No, check this out. You know how much pussy I could bought with all that money I spent <laughs> that you should have been paying for half of the bills? <laughs> I give you pussy, though. Man, man, hey, look. fuck out of here. Pussy in 2020 does not equate to like some high value shit. Pussy is comes a dime a dozen. I don't know if y'all know that. I think women don't understand they, that. They should understand that in 2020, pussy comes a dime a fucking dozen, man. Like it ain't hard to get. Right, yeah. Um, if we want like, a pussy that bad, I, we can definitely get it from not from your ass. Hold up, exactly. I, I want to stop y'all right now. Cause I got a different outlook while this pandemic is going on. No, fuck that. I pussy. <laughs> I am in a committed relationship right Pussy now. Pussy will not keep a man in I 2020. So it might keep happy a- to be in a committed relationship right now. Pussy will not keep a man in 2020. <laughs> Listen to I don't even want to go artwork. to the next city. You talking about meeting a chick with a mask on and we getting to the point where we getting ready to fuck? I'm not, nah, bro. I'm cool on that shit. <laughs> I'm happy being in a committed relationship. I understand what you're saying. This day because and time. of the pandemic. Pussy, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. The whole, but if that wasn't thing. if that wasn't the case of the pandemic being here, pandemic or not. Is. Pandemic or not. It is. And that's major. You think niggas ain't fucking in the pandemic? Yeah, they are. And some of them gonna die because they gonna catch no, that shit. Not. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Check it out. Pussy will not keep a man, yo. You got to come with something other than pussy. You got to have some pussy is Please out expand here. your in horizons. That shit do not work it's now. It's out here in the Some of them just get like that 19 and that Lem Hunter. out here in abundance. Pussy is out here in abundance. <laughs> what y'all know about that Lem Hunter? They going to get that 19 and that Lem Hunter <laughs> at the same time. Oof. That's a deadly combination. <laughs> that's, that's deep right there. All right. So check this out. So if you go on like Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> And you got to go all out to buy this chick all these damn presents and all kinds of <laughs> shit for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to celebrate holidays. She going to say, oh, yeah, so I'm going to give you some pussy. I got some new lingerie. <laughs> How is that? I mean, like, y'all, you know what? It's our fault. Because we let them get off of that bullshit. No, y'all bitch. Fall for yeah, shit. y'all put, that, y'all, to, y'all put it on a pedestal. want to get... I mean, I mean, pussy's cool. It's all, I mean, it's great. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But don't it's try to keep great. giving me the pussy. Like, that's the best thing I ever had in my life. That shit don't work like that no more. Like, it, it's not. It don't work like that. You want to be rewarded. You want a present, too. I mean, yeah, but you was going to give me that. You was going to give me the pussy anyway. You want to be appropriately rewarded. Right. You was going to give me the pussy either way. I was going to get the pussy with or without this day coming up. You know what I'm saying? You might not. I feel you. You're going to get it in a different way, though. You're going to... Yeah, it's going to be some nasty shit. Nah, going on it ain't. Night. You it's might not. get it. You might it, ain't, it ain't. Nah, it ain't. It's going to be the same mission. It's going to be some Damn. other bullshit. And you might have to come up with your own shit. Damn. If you, if you come up with the shit... You might not get it. She might be on her fucking time of the month. You might not even get that, He running run the red light. I'm you not, know what I'm saying? You might know, not even... Straight on by. It's a holiday. He ain't going to run the red light. Don't put that on me. I'm not, I'm not running no red lights. Man, you right. gonna get on that Hennessy. No, sir. No, sir. On, uh, on, what's that shit? We, the co 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 We talked about this on the last podcast. Yeah, that ain't got nothing, it, it ain't got nothing to do with me running no red light now. Me and Raul talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. And that was, a, that was all art with that bullshit. No, I'm not gonna put that on. I was <laughs> you know what you? What you? You know what I said? <laughs> 
<laughs> you said that. I just that. said. Oh, I pulled a towel out. I didn't oh, say that. Yeah, I, I didn't did. say I did what Hello. I did. Oh, man, man, he the don't want to say that. No, I didn't say I did it. I just said. I didn't. I have not not done it. I agree. But I didn't. I wasn't. That nigga said he has not <laughs> not, not, not done, done it. it. All right, you you figure that shit out for yourself. I wasn't like copping to it. He grabbed a towel. I was just saying it was <laughs> extra wet. <laughs> oh my god, that's all I said. That shit is still and that was a just, question. It's just as splash nasty mouth. as you said the first time. You said splash mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> but the moral of the story is, legend has it, pussy is not like. Come up with something better. Like yeah, bring man. something else to the table, man. I like, would love to hear pussy some. Pussy is good. We like gifts too. Yeah, I would love to hear some women comment on this because they think they pussy so fucking great. And I want y'all to explain to us why that is the go to present that you think men want. And we're right, getting that shit all year long. I got a long. question for y'all. Um, so, have you ever been told that you hard to buy for? I mean, Absolutely. That's- that's a, yeah, I've heard that. That's the, I think that's a. That's I cap, think that's a cop man. out. That's a cop out. That's a cop out for buying for a man. Only because really you don't, don't want to think, think about what we got going on. It's not. It is a cop out. You the easiest nigga to buy for in the world, Corey. All you gotta do is get some fly ass sneakers. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, because they ain't, they ain't gonna get the right ones, though. That's why I think I'm. I, it's, yeah, it's, I believe it's, you it's on difficult, that. Though. I believe you on that. I think it's hard because what about a gift card? Look at it like this. Oh, that's true though. What she about a gift a, card, man? Oh, she right, get a little right Nike there. gift card. Yeah, you, you, you can never go wrong. It's not hard, bro. Well, you can I, never go wrong with a gift card. I might look at it at the gift card as it really ain't no thought into this. No, that's I ain't true. gonna look at it like that. Look, I read books. I like sneakers. And I don't really think it's no thought into this. That's you, it. You know what I like, but you, you know can't what the fuck I like. Sit down and think about how to go get exactly what I like. I like candles. I and, like. And my whole thing is the fuck the shit I like. I go get it. It don't matter, like. Damn, I might know my birthday it's next month. It's not hard. I think she fucking with chicks. you. She my birthday next month, but damn, it's some shit I see the month before my birthday. I'm going to go get it if I got the money for it. So I done fucked up for you already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's because not, a lot not. of chicks going to be like, oh, yeah, I was going to get this, but you buy yeah, all. You, you get everything you, you want. I, yeah. I, I can't I can't get nothing that you want because you already uh, get it. You already you bought it. Topped it. Yeah, that's a, a common uh, little thing that they put out there. Not to get you a gift. I think that's that a cop want. out, like you said, Randy. Yeah, a lot of ladies I use that. I think that's a cop though. out also. They use that. You hard to buy for. You picky. But. And I've had look, some shit. Be around me. You know what the fuck I like. That I like. Pretty much but simple shit. I've had some shit that I like given to me that I wish you wouldn't have gave it to me. You, I wish <laughs> you would have let me get that shit on my own. If that makes sense to you. Well, then that's see oh, now you no, sound I, complicated. Yeah, yeah I, I am. It I might, know, I it am. might, it might be it might be some shit I don't have said. Like, I, Explain it. I like that. Such, 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 but it might be something that I don't really want it as a gift. Let me handle that. Yeah, explain that though. Hold, what you what you mean by that? It just it just, it just might be something. I don't know. This certain pair of shoes that I seen or some uh I don't know, outfit, something. It just might be something that I seen and I feel like I I let you, I let her in on the fact that I like it, but because I like it, don't mean I want you to buy it for me. What the fuck? But if she taking into consideration that she done overheard you say that shit, and she go out her way to try to find it for you, like why is that a uh um like why is that not a good thing? Okay, my point is, don't you like a whole lot of shit, but it's some shit that you like that you possibly might not get for yourself. I. I I think yeah. I kind of understand what you're saying because I know some shit. Like, yeah, I like this shit, but I really ain't want nobody to go out there yeah. and get it for Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. And you end up with that. Yeah. And I, you I kinda, like, well, I, damn, you, I did like it, but shit, I ain't really have to have it. That I, type I of shit. You. I get you. It's a pick of shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it is yeah. like, but you can't put it on her though. Nah, it's, it's I'm, I'm half responsible for it. Yeah, I'm with that. She just trying to be, you know, spontaneous for you. Show you her love. And you just spit on it. <laughs> hey, for real. That was disgusting. I'm just saying you did that. You did. She, I mean, she listening to you. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't spit on it. I reacted like I was. And I ain't even saying this could have been a family member or a relationship. Whatever, whatever. But because I said it, don't necessarily mean that. Please go get this for me. 
They like, stop saying it. I'm all, I'm almost. <laughs> I can't do it now, but it was at a point in time where I'm give me a gift card, whereas I can go do a certain activity. I was cool with that. A lot of people say when you get a gift card, you ain't really putting no thought into it. Though. Everything you else, so I, what I'm just probably said. gonna handle care. that on my own. I'm cool with I a gift card. Cool. Me, I'm oh, super you got cool me a with a gift card, card, so that means you ain't really thinking about nah, what I'm, I wanted. I'm cool with a gift card. I now, love, I love now, a gift card. Now I get what I want. But I guess the amount of the gift card <laughs> is now, a whole other story. That's a different story. Yeah, that's a different story. No, so, you can't be picky. Well, you get enough gift cards. You can't card, be picky, but shit. I'm saying is like the thought thing, <laughs> thought measured with. So if you get like a. A little $10? A sneaker. You get a <laughs> foot locker $10 gift card. You're going to be like, yo, come you on. You get some like, shoelaces? Yeah, for real. You get you some so, good shoelaces? A pair and of socks. A can't shoe, even get a pair of socks. You can't get no socks with $10. Yeah, nah, you exactly. get some shoe cleaner. <laughs> Maybe that shit gonna be nine ninety nine. You gonna yeah, you pay, gotta, like the rest out of yeah, your you. You gotta come out the pocket yeah. for the rest. You gonna have to come up with that tax. So yeah, you can give you a little shoe cleaner, some shoe cream. <laughs> ain't mad at the gift card. It's just though. some shoe cleaner and some shoe string for ten dollars. You reach, you reaching them. You only get a pair of shoes. You gonna have a call head come up with it two hundred <laughs> straight up. So have you ever had it? You ever received a gift and you felt like damn, the motherfucker spent too much money on me. Yeah. 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 I have. Yeah. Okay. But that's when I didn't you know, know you if gotta, I wanted to fuck with her you like know, that. You know, I think that's why, because you don't know you're going to reciprocate that gift. Yeah. Yeah. You like, don't you know be, how oh, she went out her way to do this. Yeah. And you don't want her I, to like. I wasn't prepared for this. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. So now you don't want to feel like you're taking advantage. <laughs> yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. You really love oh, me. Oh, you really I spent some money know. on this. So now you like, yo, I don't know. I got to. I ain't ready for this yet. Like, this is like a. Now a gotta, gift gift. Yeah, now I gotta yeah. pull some out the head now. Yeah. I don't have a few gift gifts. It's a gift gift, and I'm about to break up with you before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> them holidays in March. This is not where we was going with this. <clears throat> no, nah, I feel you on that though, because some of them gifts, you be like, whoa. Ooh, I wish you would not have done this. Yeah, because it's feel you. weird. Thank now, you, though. Now I'm about to look like a piece of shit for this shit. <laughs> <I'm about to laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> I appreciate Damn. it. Nah, I'll be me, like, yo, you, you got to take that back. Oh, got to take it back. I, I ain't seeing the back, player. No, I got to keep it. Nah, it it's mine. No, I don't know. No. It it's mine. I done seen everything I can do with whatever it is. Yeah, it's mine. Damn. No niggas ain't shit. <laughs> Cut. Me and all had the same haircut in Atlanta <laughs> in 2017. Hey, this I told y'all what dreams. I did. Hey, y'all want to accept the fact that I did it. That it's but real. But you don't want to tell the people that what you real. did, though. It's real. When you going to want to talk hey, about look, that? We can get into it. Hey, check oh, it. Oh, here we go. Let's get here into we go. it. Here we go. Here we go. You need a whole episode to go in on your. You don't want to get into it? Right no, 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 I'll get into it. I've been huh? waiting to get into that this. And your conspiracy theories. We need a whole episode <laughs> worth of that shit. Is we going to talk about this or not? Hey, we recorded right now, but y'all need to talk to the mic. Is we going to talk about this or not? It's going to be all on him. I ain't, I ain't. What the fuck I'm going to say? Hey, check it. Yo. That's a community out there. <laughs> if y'all ever like. <laughs> <laughs> research to come across it on YouTube, but it's called semen retention. I've seen it. you seen it? Yeah, I didn't so, dive into it, but I've seen it. So it's definitely out there if you're looking for it. It's a real community. Um, So I come across this community like years ago, maybe mm -hmm. like five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I was researching it and I decided to practice this uh, semen retention thing, which means not Busting nuts, not jacking off, not having sex, none of that. At what point in time was it when you decided to? It was in 2000. I did it and wasn't successful when I first came across it, right? That figures. <laughs> <laughs> but in 2019, from 2000, from November 2019 until, uh, I want to say it was six months. It was a six month span. So any so from whatever the end of November is to 
six um, months from then. From six months from then, I, I was successful in doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So possibly April, April May. May. Yeah, about April, May time frame. Yeah. So the idea is as as for a man, semen is your life force. So this is the idea behind it. Semen is a man's life force. It creates life. It has a lot of power in your semen, right? It's like zinc. It's a bunch of different things that uh, make up semen for a man. So it's like spinal fluid, brain fluid, zinc, uh, calcium, iron. It's a whole bunch of shit that goes into this, right? And it takes a whole lot of energy to make semen. And when you bust off, it's like hundreds of millions of sperm that get released, right? And that's energy for a man. <clears throat> so the belief behind this is every time you jack off, you basically like depleting, <laughs> you're depleting your life force energy, your chi. And I'm a spiritual person. I meditate and all that shit, right? Y'all probably don't know that, but I meditate like every day, right? And so I I bought into this. And there's energy in your semen. You, you don't wonder why you go to sleep when you finish doing what you do. That's why. It's a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy to make those millions and millions of sperm. Right? So what these people believe in this community is like when you jacking off constantly or when you busting off constantly, especially when you doing it not trying to like procreate and make life because that's what it's for. Busting off is to make a life form, right? It's to create life. You're depleting your life energy. And so with that comes pre in, uh, premature baldness. They believe that. Premature baldness, you lose strength. Uh, your testosterone goes down. Uh, you age faster. All of this, it's not scientifically proven, but this is what these people believe in. And I can attest for some of that. So, like, when I was in the gym working out, the energy levels was higher when I wasn't jacking off. That's why they say boxers and shit don't jack off before fights or don't bust off before fights because the energy mm. that they retain. So, there, there are some benefits to this. So, I did practice this for six months. I was successful, and I did reap some of those benefits from it. And like you said, Bodie... I was bald headed. <laughs> I was bald, right? Cut my hair off. And you just look at me now, people. I got like hair full of, I got dreadlocks. And baldness runs in my family, by the way. And I still got this hat on. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it is something to it. Hmm. And the reason I did it was because it's the all, to me, being in control of your sexual desires. And your sexual energy is the ultimate form of discipline. If you can control your sexual urges as a man, you can accomplish damn near anything you want to do because you can challenge that, channel that energy into other things. Y'all know how hard it is to control your sexual energy as a man. If you can do that for a prolonged period of time, you can accomplish some, uh, some great feats. First of all, um, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you my experience. Y'all been nice, wanting to talk about this for forever since we started nice, the podcast. Nice full head of hair over there. I, uh, I appreciate that. I, I'm happy <laughs> for you. But um, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that shit. You can if you put your mind I'm, to it. You can. No, I'm not trying to put my mind to it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be bald. I'm gonna be Ash tired. Gonna be gone. I'm gonna be sleep. Um, I, it, hell, I'm not saying that's fact. Hell, you know, all that no, shit no, I just said I, is I, fact. But I, no, I, what I got from it, I'm no, just telling you what I got from no, it. No, no, no. So what say you, Mike and Randy? No, I maybe can't. if I was single. Okay, so it was easy. Man, no, was I don't even think you could do it if, if you were single, single. That would make you worse. even more stupid. <laughs> right. You, it would be even more stupid to do it if you I had was a single. girl. No, if you're single, you might be able to talk yourself nah, into this, man, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to do you that to at all. Out. Why is it stupid, Randy? Man, Mike, go ahead and tell them what you think about this. I, why is it? I, I mean, know why I, it's stupid because I, I, I did it. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say it's stupid. I, I definitely ain't gonna say it's stupid, but it ain't nothing that I would want to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
So let me say this. <laughs> let me ask you. This. No, so do you believe that? I'm gonna tell you why I'm stupid. Go ahead. Go ahead. You believe that um that is the ultimate form of discipline for a man. I think it's a big form of discipline. To do you agree? Do y'all agree with that? That's a that's a yeah. Because I mean, yeah, if I you mean, like, I'm if you in the, if you put yourself in that situation where you're in that moment, there's a reason why monks do that. There have been monks who said that they have. That's why a lot of y'all don't know this, but there's might not know this. But monks, that's why they don't marry and shit because they say once they have sex with their wives, when they go back to the temple and try to meditate and and they say God doesn't want anything to do with them after they do that. It's harder to get in, like to communicate. Man, that's what they up. say, bro. Man, now, man, I'm just giving you what they man, say. Man, that shit up in their head. Okay. So is it is it true that because I don't know shit about that religion to be honest with you, but is it true where some of them don't talk? Hmm. Don't some talk. of them don't talk at all. Oh, I don't know. Or is this a Hangover movie episode that nah, I? Nah. Yeah, it's my know, Hangover good. movie. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, I couldn't do it. I'm. Mm. Nah. I think every man should practice like some type of abstinence at some point in their life because it is a true form of discipline and you can challenge that energy. There is this often named Napoleon Hill who um I think it's Napoleon Hill made Think and Grow Rich and he talked about transmuting his sexual energy into his passion and purpose in life and it yielded great results. You know what? I get what you're saying. Like <clears throat> taking your energy and putting it into other stuff. But I also feel like you only need to do that if you're a person that's you you can't focus on one thing or you can't you can't get shit done without thinking about something else. You know what I'm saying? You so if you can't get your mind off of having sex or being with a woman or something, maybe you need to do that. But that's feel like you can't focus on shit else. No, it's not just because of that. It's I get what you're saying. Nah, it's not that you can't focus on nothing else. It's just that you can use that energy because it's a lot. It's more energy than you think goes into like reproduction or <laughs> the act of reproducing. It's a lot of energy that goes into that. God gave you that to create life. You create life, whole life out of your semen. I'm not trying to create no more life. No, I mean, yeah. What I'm saying is, it's still energy that you're depleting when yeah. you when you release. That's so, the whole idea behind it. But I feel like I need to deplete that energy because I ain't trying to make no more life. So but just think if you help. didn't. What I'm saying is, it might think. improve my chances of not making any more lives. <laughs> lives come with bills. No, I understand what, that. What, for I understand what you, that. For what you the saying, purpose art? of it though is to create life. So the energy that goes into that. You put that energy into something else. You transmute that energy into something else, something else that you're passionate about. That's the whole idea behind it. From what you're saying, Art, I feel like people only say shit like that because they're making their own limitations. You're making up your own shit just to be like, oh, I ain't going to do this so I can do this, da, 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 da. Just because you ain't busting no nuts, that's not really in reality helping you do shit else in life. I don't really think that's helping you do anything. I disagree. Because you putting self limitations on yourself don't yeah, make it I understand. so your, your understand. another part of your life gonna be prosperous because you stop doing nah, this. It don't mean that. You can it's stop just, busting nuts and be just in the same saying that fucking you put, place. You put the same energy yeah, that you were putting put that into that. Yeah, okay, for, for a select few. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but and, there's a reason why. Boxers don't do it before a fight. They, they do a that. Fucking okay, reason. so it's because you got, athletes, a bunch, you got a bunch of uh, a physical aggression in you built up. But you, as me, are, we do too. It's testosterone. You lose testosterone. That's been proven. I can understand why boxers and shit do it, fighters and all that. I can see why they do it. Because you mad as fuck when you don't bust on nut. But uh, with that being said, do you think we saw a different version of the NBA? At the beginning of the bubble versus when we got to whatever round of the playoffs we in now. Know. I they, can't. No, nah, because really all those niggas no, no, jacking listen, off. It was no women there. We don't. I mean, they still, still, uh, still, uh, still can jack off. Legend has it that there was no women there. Yeah, but they can still be jacking off. <laughs> they can still be still busting each other shit, in the butt. 
Whoa, we don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It. whoa. We went there. Whoa, why we had to say yeah. all that? <laughs> I mean, not, don't act like it ain't niggas. Oh my god. Because like, me right. myself personally, I I feel as if the NBA provided some type of uh a little release. Yeah. Look, man, I'm like just giving was, you. I feel like it was something in the bubble from the beginning. Yeah. It just wasn't no close friends yeah, and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was something there. I'm saying that I understand where art comes from. I'm just giving it. y'all my if you experience. take that approach to getting self-enlightenment and doing other things great in your life, then cool. That's great. I'm happy for But you, if you that don't mean that you have to stop doing it to do the same thing. That this shit don't that they don't they don't correlate with each other. It does correlate to it, a whole it, spir- it doesn't to a, though to a spiritual level. It, it, it does. doesn't I, though. I think it does correlate to a spiritual but level it, and to a discipline level. But, but okay, within so, yourself. But, but why do it you? Does correlate. How do you get to that? It does correlate. But how do you get to that? It does correlate because you giving in. Okay, what is what is set when you feel when you bust off? It's a dopamine release. It's just like Instagram. Right, it's just like you doing cocaine though. It's yeah, like it's the same like anything, shit. Exactly. It's the discipline. So if you can stop doing cocaine, it's the discipline. Certain people can't stop jacking off. Certain people can't stop doing cocaine, but you got some people that can stop cold turkey. Right? Right. So it's a certain level of discipline that comes with that. It's a certain level of control that comes with that. But that right there would negate what it's you said. It's a mastery of yourself. So if I was a nigga that was beating off all the time and I'm still and maintaining the same shit that I'm doing right now, then that what you saying don't make no sense. It don't it don't mean that no because it you doesn't don't make no sense because if you don't do it, you don't know how much farther you can go. You might be one of them people who are like a functional alcoholic. Yeah, you might be a super leader if you stop. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like a functional alcoholic. <laughs> what if you get off that alcohol? You might can go. S- that much, you know I mean, what I'm saying? But well, much crazy. Yeah, you got a point. But See I'm saying? saying, like, you don't, but you don't know that though. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Either way, that's you don't I'm know saying, that. But, I'm just giving you my experience. But I'm saying, what you saying, you don't know if that's correlated to each other. I don't know. I'm giving you my experience. It now. ain't scientific fact. It's nah, it ain't different been. experience for each individual. It is scientific proving the lower of <laughs> testosterone, though. Is it's it? A different, yes. It's a different experience for each individual, yes, is what I'm saying. It getting. is. Really, but, but far as the other stuff, that I'm the I individual that's not trying to know. participate. Like that's cool. I'm, Y'all want to talk about? It. I'm telling you yeah, what I'm, I did, man. It was an exercise of self discipline. I think every hats. man, especially every young man, they probably should do it because you will uh, retain some energy from it. You will do that. Yeah, I think and you'll that, be able to put that into other areas. You know what I'm saying? It's more I, to life than just fucking. Busting off and falling asleep. I kind of understand that too, though. But I feel like what you did. If you can control that shit, most, you can do anything in this fucking world. I guarantee you that. I think that the most that you can get out of doing it is self discipline. If you can keep yourself from doing something that you want to do for that long, I think you will learn a lot of self discipline. I think that's the most that you can get out of it. And what uh, what else is there than that? Self discipline is what most motherfuckers lack. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, 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 you're right. But all that other shit you was talking about didn't have nothing to do with I was just, you know, I was just talking from my experience, fam. And then I was talking about what people say in this community. If you go on YouTube and you research it, that's what they say. But because there's a whole lot of extra crazy shit to go along with it, too, that motherfuckers be talking about that I ain't really tap into because I don't really believe that shit. They be talking about some superpower shit, but I don't really get into that. But there are certain things, aspects that I can vouch for that do help when you go that long without letting off. I'm gonna need you to thoroughly investigate the superpower shit because not a superpower be shit be sounding crazy. Might too. be to use like that if, I, high <laughs> <laughs> if I start talking that shit, y'all laugh me out of this month. Yeah, we but, ain't gotta talk about it. Just, just go in and do some investigation. It, yeah, yeah. But check it out. The people who have been through it, they they vouch they, but they stand by it. Check Ten toes down, but I don't. I think you. I that's think, because you busting nuts, fam. I think you can sit there and believe that shit if you want to, yeah. but that's just because somebody could said be, that. I don't understand. I don't get that. It nah. could be placebo. I'm just. I'm telling you what I experienced, man. Extra energy plus, for sure, for sure. The extra energy was a fucking. That's one for sure, for sure. Y'all, but it sound like the people that believe that see you as busting nuts as a weakness. That might no, be your greatest a, strength. Hey, make Are you debating do that? Creating life might be your greatest strength. If you create you, life, but if you just jacking off in a sock, then you wasting it, nigga. That's what I'm saying. If you create life, then that's what it's for. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. If you just busting off your fucking potential in so the sock and throwing the sock here. away <laughs> or in some tissue, then that's the waste. So you see what I'm saying? Like that's that's the difference. Meat, like that, you 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 all the way you flawed for that. Yeah, that's the difference. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't meant for that. That energy, it takes a lot of energy to create uh-huh. that. I guess I can see you that. Yeah, you that's see niggas that be like addicted to like porn and shit. Yeah, that's all yeah. I'm saying. And they can't do shit because they like at the house watching porn beating off and that's yeah. all they do. And mm-hmm. they can't even go to their fucking jobs. Like, yeah, I can see that. Because that's like a real mental problem. Like, they really have a problem. I can see that. But I don't know about all this spiritual shit you talking about. <laughs> well, I think you just, you, you you taking one thing and putting it into something else. That's all. Maybe. I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you think? Nah, I'm not Maybe. trying to find out. Maybe that right there. About you ain't that. trying to like see what's up. I ain't up, trying to tap like. into that. But I've definitely I can see what he's saying though. So y'all can't go a week without. Nah, I mean, yeah. I've been, I been longer than a week before. More than a week. But I the been only like reason what about a, what a month. The I'm only a, way I'm experienced what you are talking about is I'm probably gonna be locked up. That would that would give me the opportunity to be like, all right, let me try this shit because yeah, I'm in jail. And gonna be Jack I ain't, no, no, I ain't, no. I ain't got time. I, I got to watch everything that's going on. I might have to knock uh, such such out while I'm in here. He might run yeah, up on me while I'm be jacking up. Meeting his damn cell. Yeah, no, I don't think he's gonna be doing that. So yeah, I definitely went over a month though. Okay, what's all I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying, but I think at least, but the month that I went. It didn't. It didn't help my situ- my life that's none wanna, at all. You won't think. You probably won't doing shit. What was you doing? Doing the same shit I'm doing now. It didn't help me none. I was just frustrated as fuck. Shit. <laughs> Mad as fuck. Ready to do something. I'm ready to fight somebody. Ready to snap on somebody. I don't know if you was cognizant yeah. of that energy, man. You got to be able to challenge that shit. You can't just sit on it. And you might have I mean, I knew. guess if I went into it. But so that's you got to have the energy that's and use it in the correct way. Right. Because yeah. he's saying Because like, some people have it and don't know they have it is what you're saying. Yeah, if you're not cognizant yeah. of it, you got to be able to challenge right. that shit. Yeah, that means that, that you was something. cognizant of taking this energy and putting it into something else. Yeah. But I'm saying, if you ain't into that, then you ain't really, you ain't doing it. So yeah. you just like, oh, I ain't fucking, now I'm fucking mad because I ain't busting on no nuts. So I'm yeah, not just, you, whatever. Let's say, uh, and I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that if be you, him. If you went out your way to go do that, and you like, all right, Boom! I'm stop fucking right now. But let's say you want to go three months. Let's say you want to challenge put put that energy into working out and getting fit, and you'll channel channel that energy into that. Okay, but is that energy come from you stop busting nuts? That energy no, come from but you, you being can, frustrated. No, and you but just you need can, to you take can, that energy and put it in something else. You can use. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what I'm use saying. That use the frustration to have a better workout. And it ain't even necessarily yeah. frustration because once you get used to it, it's just it's natural. We we've been programmed in sexual society to yeah. think that we need to fucking bust off every fucking day or every other day or every time we very... see a fat ass, then that's what we need to do. We need to go in the fucking bathroom, get the lotion, or call up a bitch and 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 relieve ourselves. That's not the case. Well, on that's the what hand, I'm saying. I think it's unnatural for you not to feel like that. <sighs> It's, it's got it's got to be unnatural. It's very animalistic for you to have. It is it. animalistic, but when you're creating life, the point of it is to create life. We're not trying to create life every time we so go run up in like, something. All right, so you see a lion out here, ain't no lions jacking off. <laughs> they might, but I, I don't think they are. What I'm saying, like, like you said. But they're looking to create life first. That's what I'm saying. I think lions ain't jacking off. They out here busting nuts to create more exactly. life. Exactly. That's go, all I'm saying. To go along with what you said, um, I've never I probably never had thought about sex this to be saying I did that to create life. But that's what it's for. It, you right. You are right. But I've never participated in like I'm doing this in hopes of creating Nigga, life. I ain't either. <laughs> but that's what I it's ain't. for. I, I never participated <laughs> in that sport. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's I mean, the point of it. I'm I'm cool. I'm I'm just gonna be tired and that's why it feels and, good. That's why you want to keep doing it. It's because to keep shit, you to create life. It's that's what that, it's for. Yo. Yeah, but you got to come to a point where you like you got to uh, weigh the benefits and the uh, the pros and cons. How, how, how that mean if I end up going like, to prison? Is this, is if I end up going to prison, I write a book on this shit. 
<laughs> yeah, you're going to go to prison because you're going to be ready to fuck somebody up. No, I'm going to participate once I get to prison. I should. You got your you got your nuts in there. They about to blow up. You, what are we talking about? So what that means you, you ready to fight oh, everybody because your nuts won't blow up. <laughs> Why are we talking? Why even bring Just angry and frustrated. No, I think this is a good conversation. Uh, I, really, no, I ain't no cut. I appreciate you. Hey, look, I think that everybody need to like figure this out. Like you might, it might be beneficial to you. I appreciate you. And then I think topic. some people they shit so built up that might be a bad idea. You gonna yep. end up locked up because you gonna hurt be somebody around, ready to fight somebody. You ready to do something because your nuts is swole and you need to get that shit up out of your system. So I'm saying, make the right decision. <laughs> Hey, it's my last podcast. <laughs> it's, it's, I got, I'm, I do this shit with a bunch of immature ass niggas. They ain't no, I, I'll be immature because we don't agree with what you're talking about. Shit. Oh my god. All right, man. You did six months. Six months. I busted it all. I'm like, <laughs> yo. Welcome back. This is the, the book section, the book review section, man. So before I get into the book review section, man, I know we joke a lot on this podcast. We we kind of immature. We do a lot of uh, off the wall shit. But to balance that out, man, we try to come and give y'all some 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 gems, some knowledge, and we're trying to balance that out with the book review section. And just because we don't talk about it, we are privy to what's going on in the world as far as the political and social structure of the USA right now. Amen, yeah. bro. Cops getting cops killing black people, yeah. um, racism, and all that jazz. We try to keep it on the on the light side on this podcast and not talk about that shit, but uh Cause y'all all need a break from what. Yeah, the fuck sometimes going you need on. a break for what's going on. Yeah, well said. Um, so that's what this this podcast is about, man. We try to keep it light, but also we try to give y'all a little bit of inspiration, man. That's what this book section is about. So, without further ado, the book for this podcast is "Revolutionary Suicide" by U. E. P. Newton, the great U. E. P. Newton. If you don't know who U. E. P. Newton is. He was the co-founder of the Black Panther Party. Him and Bobby Seal started the Black Panther Party in 1966 uh, to combat and to uh, help stave off what we're going through today, which is police brutality and murders from policemen. And so they started the Black Panther Party in response to that. Uh, this is an autobiography. So it, it's written by him. It details his life and how he see, how he saw things and how he came up and how he moved through the ranks and how he grew up. It details his life and how he started the Black Panther Party. It details what the Black Panther Party was about, contrary to popular belief. I know I had a white lady once ask me when I was reading the book on the Black Panther Party, what's the Black Panther Party, a terrorist organization? So that just goes to show you that misinformation has been put out there by the powers that be. Um, no, the Black Panther Party was not a terrorist organization, but they will paint that picture. It was in retaliation to police brutality and racism. Uh, this book is a book you should check out if you don't know anything about the Black Panther Party, you don't know anything about UEP Newton, or if you're just interested in black history and how it correlates to what's going on today because we're in 2020 and the same shit that he was fighting against is still going on today. Um, U.P. Newton was a great man, he was an intellectual. He graduated high school without knowing how to read. Mm. Let that sink in. This man didn't know how to read when he graduated high school. He was an illiterate. That's kind of crazy. Really, really, really think about it. That's a, a feat. He, he didn't get taught. through high school without knowing how to read. No, nah, that only reason he got through is because you know they pushed him through, right? Um, but he taught himself how to read before going to attending college. 
Mm. So he taught himself how to read because he had an older brother that attended college that he looked up to, even though he was in the streets during his high school years. He had an older brother that went to college in Oakland, right? And his older brother was re reading things like Plato and Shakespeare, Shakespeare and um, Socrates and all these type of poems and those type of literature, uh, literary works. So he taught himself how to read off of that. So just think about that, how hard that is to like even read Shakespeare. And he taught himself how to read that. Y'all read Shakespeare before. That's just not the easiest to understand or comprehend, right? Yeah, you got to really think all. about it. He taught himself how to read and then he attended, attended college and he graduated with a PhD in social ph philosophy. So this man was a very smart man and he took initiative to go after what he wanted, man. And this book, Revolutionary Suicide, is about his journey. Revolutionary suicide means that sometimes you go up against a system that's not meant for you and you become a target fighting that system. And you might not, you're probably not going to win fighting that system because the odds are stacked so hard against you that you're going to either, uh, they're going to make an example out of you. You're going to be, you're going to die. A lot of the times you're going to die. You ain't going to live to see that, to see the benefits of what you're doing. But, the people that come after you will see the benefits of what you're doing. So hence the term revolutionary suicide. He knew what he was doing. He knew what to fight and what he was up against. And he still stood up against um, injustice despite what he had to go through. So check this book out, man. Revolutionary Suicide by UAP Newton. It's an autobiography. Yo. And that has been Another episode of the legendary, no, what is it? Legend has it podcast. <laughs> we are the legendary visionaries. My name is Art Work. Bo in the building. It's your boy RH, aka Raul. And C Bode, baby. Yeah. Shout out to Teasy. Shout out to Swizzy. Uncle Irving. Shout out to them Air Max artwork got on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shout out to all the semen retainers. Keep doing your thing, baby. Transmute that energy into something else. Man, fuck them bitches. Man. Yeah, don't get nah, locked up. Good luck with that. <laughs> we out, man. I'll be Peace. Praying for y'all.